Hey guys, welcome back to more Battlefield Heroes guides on how to change the maps and all that. But this video is not about changing the map. That you can just check out those maps and how to modify your game files so you can turn off the timer. So that this is what the this video is covering on how to turn off the timer. I, but here we go. All you want to do is go to the mods file, then Battlefield Heroes. This is really easy, guys. Just stay with me. And it's so worth it when you turn off the timer so you can get outside the map anywhere you want. Go to levels, then go to any map that you really want to change, like Victory Village, um, which one, uh, just do the normal one if you want. Then go to 7-zip file and then open that. Then go to game modes, then go to the top one, go to 16, then gameplay objects dot c o n then you want to open it with a notepad then um you want to go all the way down here where you see this right here and then you see combat area then you want to go here make that one to a zero then you want to save it then you want to go to the file that you're editing by um Let's see, Victory Village, go to information, save it there, exile notepad, then you want to bring up this file that you had, make sure you didn't close this file out yet, then go into information, then drag this file to this file, and then say yes. And after you're done, you want to close out this file. And then open Battle for Heroes to test it out if it worked for you. Okay, after you are done editing everything and then you go into your game and start it, just go to the map that you edited now. And then after you're done, you should try to get outside the map. And if you did it right, there should be no timer there. And watch. I just put on a random customization, but... Here we go, we're gonna use a jeep trying to get outside the map by going to that one area where that road is, where everyone really wants to go without the timer actually killing you. But if you did it right, the timer should not show up when all. Let's go over here. And if you did it right, the timer should not show up. But as you guys can see, I am not getting affected by no timer so we can go anywhere we want on this map now let's do this no <laughs> i've been having so much fun with this editing a lot of maps with this um turning off all the timers i'm going to be doing a live stream of this i'm pretty sure this video is going to come out right after my live stream because a lot of people are going to start asking me because they don't really know. Or if you guys know, then um, I'm surprised you guys didn't post a video. <laughs> I wanna, always wanted to see what's up here. What is up here? What? It's a whole flat land? Oh, wait. What the? Um, okay, let's go. <laughs> it's water down there that's surprising okay guys I'm gonna show you one more time on another map and um, you have to do this for every single map type like the uh, victory village snow it I know it's kind of a pain in the butt but when you do and turn off all the timers for all the maps that means you'll be able to pretty much be free on uh, any map you want okay guys after you're done messing with the, that map and had fun with that you can go on to the next one if you guys want to make make like a like a video for all the maps then um, let me know cuz um I wouldn't mind but you want to go to the lake one I'm gonna show you how to the mod the, the bay map where all the water is and the, the ship the shipwreck and everything but you want to go here, and you want to zip, 7-zip file, and then open. 
go to game modes, this, then go to game ob play objects dot c o n, open it in Notepad. You don't need Notepad plus plus. All you want to do is go down here, go here, edit, take away the one, make it a zero. Then you want to save it. Then uh, save this file into the file that you're editing right now. I'm editing the lake. Then you want to save this file in the information file. And then you want to exit out of this. You want to keep this file up. You want to take the information. Go here. Copy and paste by moving it there. And then press yes. And then you should already modify it the file then after you're done this would work already you can delete this file if you like but not this file do not delete that and after you're all done editing and everything you want to start up the game on the map that you just edited and if you did it right the thing should be gone the the out of the map alert and then it'll kill you if you didn't do it right <laughs> that'd be bad now go here now pick pick any map that you modified in the video with me then um, click on it and then use the map changer if you guys don't have a map changer and you guys are doing it by manual then go to my map changer video and it will teach you how to download that and install that so you can make your life so much easier instead of putting in codes okay if you did it right you can be able to get outside the map without the the alert killing you or warning you to turn back or you will die but if you did it right this should be um you can go anywhere you want okay if i the moment of truth if i did it right you can get outside the map over here and you can keep going if you like yep i did it correct i am uh super far away from my uh wow you're already lost. <laughs> I think they have a boundary um, limit on the where how far you can go in the water, but um, pretty sure you can go like other places on this map. I'm gonna show you right now. I think they put a boundary death. Because you guys saw me how far I was. I turned off the thing. But I think they got the fault instant kill. I'm not sure how to turn that off. But um, I can go to other places without the limit. I'm going to show you right now. You can go into the royal place. And there will be no limit here. See? You just went past the limit. And it should have already killed you. But it already told you to turn back. But you're not allowed in this area. But make sure you don't go too far out of the map or the game will instantly kill you for some reason. But this is like the only map that I had it caused. But... I'm not sure if that's the only on the water. I never had that problem on the land. Yeah, if you go too far on this map it instantly kills you for some reason. That's too bad, but... At least you can go so really far to showcase um, certain areas in the map. I turn off the timer for you guys, but this map has limits for some reason for how far you can go without it killing you. I'm pretty sure you can go over here, anywhere that has. Um... I was not expecting this map to have so much limits on. Uh... It's not like the moon map that you can go anywhere you want. Oh god. <laughs> now my wheels come out? Okay. There you go guys. You can go anywhere you want on this map, but just don't go too far on this map because for some reason Battlefield Heroes put like a an instant kill limit how far you can go. I don't know how to turn that off, but have fun um, not getting uh, tackled by the 
the limits on the map though you can go like very far away from the actual map like I am right now as you guys can see the original map is nowhere to be seen but I hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay and uh, the guide on how to turn off all the like all the map triggers on how to uh, get rid of the timer instead of it just killing you I hate that so now I finally this guy and me finally found out I, I'm using his idea but um I I, I couldn't do his idea cuz some reason it'll say read me only it can't be edited so I had to do it my own way I don't know why it wouldn't let me but um thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed make sure you hit that like button down below and comment down below if this helped you a lot and if you're new to the channel, if you like my content, please subscribe because it always helps a lot, guys. And uh, share to your friends if you guys want your friends to know about this, too. But I'm not sure if this will work on the online version when it comes out. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys later. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hi, Bob.